What's going on YouTube? It's your boy John B. Come back to you guys with a brand new haircut tutorial. So here I'm doing something different because a lot of people were saying I was just posting skin fades and stuff. So I wanted to, get, to give you guys something different. So here I'm doing a temple taper on a shadow fade. So basically I'm here I'm starting my first guy line on a temple taper. I like keeping it at an angle from the ear to the bottom of the box it but it all depends on the client but that's what I usually do so I usually just go with like a number one on the sides whenever I do my shadow fades and this is my boy Eugene he usually comes once every three weeks and he gets the same thing every time and see how I this is how I actually cut like when I'm cutting, like I, I like to line up before I start the fade process because I feel like you save yourself so much work. Because if you do notice when you cut hair and you line up last, you you tend to go back to fix the little errors because when you line up, when you line someone up, you the errors stick out in the fade. So here I'm going behind the ear, going around it, not really pushing it back too much because he has a normal hairline. Next, I start to fade out this line right here on the shadow fade. And I'm going with a one and a half open, lever open. And I'm going straight up, not digging in. And then slowly closing the lever the lower I go. Then I snap on the number one guard and start fading it out. So in this video, I want to teach you guys something that I've learned over the years of cutting hair. If you want little details, like a really nice smooth transition try this technique where you with every stroke is really small keep your strokes really small and try to keep it all even if that makes sense like try not to like really focus on the blend like don't oh, don't don't really go past your guidelines so here I'm going with my slim lines and I'm lining it up like I said before you start the temple taper so it'll pop more so I balled it out first but not too high don't go all the way up because you will make a line that might be too hard for you to fade out so on my temple tapers I like to fade upwards so I'm going with the lever fully closed first like I said small strokes and slightly open the, cl the clipper and once you get to the clipper all the way open that's when you sn snap on your half guard so here you see how tiny my strokes are this is remember this is sped up like two times so I'm really going slow be really light-handed when you're cutting hair you don't have to press so hard on the head like I had a client earlier this week I it was a new client and um, he was referred to one of my other friends and he told his friend like yo it literally felt like I wasn't even getting a haircut like his hand is so light and I take a lot of pride in that and I figured that out maybe four years ago like look I'm gonna be known as this barber with a light hand like I don't like to put so much pressure on their head and get, it, irritate their skin like that's that's just how I am so moving on to the back I'm doing the exact same steps that I did on that side so Fading out the top a little bit, getting everything even. Keep your sections clean. That's one another thing that that'll help you when you're cutting hair. Keep it clean. The little details that you tend to skip over are the details that actually matter. So just continue to practice every day and cut and love what you do. Like you see, like these little details that I'm putting in, and I'm trying to I'm trying my best to explain it to you guys. So I see that little line right there, bang it out. Use whatever guards you need to, to take out that line. And here, I'm just starting to line it up again. And on, I've been getting a lot of messages and comments saying what kind of outliner do I use or why is it so sharp? So I use the cordless T outliner as you can see from here but I use I, I get it sharpened and 
but I don't really want to give all the credit towards the sharpener. I want to, I want you guys to know that I zero gap them myself. I, I use my naked eye. I don't use any tools to zero gap it because, like I said, I'm very light-handed, so I can zero gap it to the point where it's really close. But I have to change my touch. And if you guys want to do the same, you guys have to change your guys' touch. You guys have to be very light. -handed. I'm telling you right now, if you're a light-handed barber. It helps with everything you won't irritate the skin your blends I feel it will come out better because you're not digging into the head shape you're going straight up so like I said same steps start with the lever closed and work your way up don't be afraid to go too high because remember this is a tempo taper and if and if it's on a shadow fade this there's, there's not too much room for error so like I said I'm going one side at a time Moving on to the left side, you see like how small my strokes are. Some people like to go wild and start stroking it and like, you just gotta chill. <laughs> like, see how clean that comes out? You're just taking your time, being very light-handed, taking off the guard, use, use the corner of your blade again. That's a key thing that you guys have to remember. Use that corner of the blade. It'll help you more than you know. Cause sometimes the guards can't help you like, and he's a perfect example because he has a lot of dips in his head so using the corner helps a lot so i'm actually gonna skip most of this part because i want i don't want this video too long for you guys but it usually it, it's just the same exact steps balding it out cleaning it up Moving on, trimming the top. So usually I trim the top first, but in this situation I just decided to do it after. So make sure the hair is wet because that's when you get your cleanest cut. So like I said, he comes every three weeks. I know I know how much he wants off. I don't have to ask him. Just go through it, cross check it, the whole nine. Make sure it's all even. And like I said, like. It, once you do this, it'll become second nature. It, simple. what I did there I grab I usually grab a number one guard if there's straight hairs and I just flick up I take out the little hairs and then line it up so I don't push back really like especially on comb overs because they don't really need that the crispiest lineup like he still gets it like nice and crispy like especially the size of his head right here like once I raise it at it, it'll pop just raise it right there pull the skin down remember to keep the blade flat and pull the skin. If you're not pulling the skin, then there's more chance of you cutting him. Like I said, I'm I'm having fun cutting hair again. 
love this job. It's just fun to me. I have a few more videos I have to upload, but it's just been busy at work. I actually just got off of work, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys because I just needed to because the subscriber account has been going up really fast and I, f I feel like I owe it to you guys. I, I want to do this for you guys and help you guys as much as possible. So if you guys want any more haircuts or you have any questions, you can follow me on my Instagram or you can even just comment it below. Like what do you guys want to see next? What do you guys want me to do? Like if there's any challenges you guys want me to do, I'm, I'll do whatever you guys want. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm actually just going to be styling the hair at the end of the video with some uh eco gel or elegance gel whatever you guys want to use he likes the wet look so this is pretty much it thank you guys for checking me out it's your boy john b don't forget to like comment and subscribe john b out